Hello, hello, my people. Comment allez-vous ce soir? J'espère que tout va bien. I hope everything is fine. How are you? What you see me on my face right now, that's, um, <clears throat> um, what is happening to my memory? Black seed oil. And something else. Um, castle oil. Lord, I can't believe I'm. I, I, guys, I've been forgetting stuff lately. What's up? What's up with that? Okay, this is what I wanted to talk about. It just came to mind. Like, I'm wondering. Some people do not believe in spiritual matters, right? It's like they believe in what they see. But I'm wondering, because I'm trying to get into, you know, their, their way of thinking so I can get a better understanding. If you believe in only what you see, so you believe in the finished product, you don't believe in the work the planting of the seed and the supernatural growth of that seed before you can get that fruit. Yet, you believe in, for example, planting a family, right? Making a baby. You believe in the work that you have to do in order for it to come to pass, right? But you say you don't believe in spiritual matter. But before the matter is before you, what was there? Nothing. So, did you work for nothing? I'm trying to understand. Maybe somebody can help me. Did you work for nothing? And how does... Nothing work. Nothingness works. How? How does it work? There must be something. There must be a transformation. It is written, written that God created us out of dust. Then he spoke life into us. But he came with something. You must have something in your hands. And that something that you have in your hands, that's what you're going to multiply in order for something to be. Guys, am I right or am I wrong? Please tell me. Do you believe in spiritual matters? Do you believe... And dreams and visions. Hmm. Have you ever dreamed of something just to see it come to pass when you are awake? And how do you explain that? How can you not believe in spiritual matters but yet you believe in God? What is your opinion about your own existence? How did you come about then? Whose seed are you? Or are you a seed at all? And if you believe in that big bang, bang, but then boom, how did it happen? What rubbed together to create that boom? And when would it be another, there will be another boom to create more of you. This is an elementary conversation, but it came to mind. I said, let me see what the people going to comment. Spiritual matter. Let us create men in our image. Our image.
our image. There, there was an image. And then from that image, Habakkuk 2, verse 2, say, write the vision and make it plain. So there was a vision. There was an image. When you want to be something, when you want to create something, when you want to go into something, don't you have an image? Don't you kind of like know who you would like, what kind of person, what type of person you would like to marry, what kind of business you would like to do? Where you want to go, where you want to visit, what you want to create, what you want to cook, what you want to eat. All the decisions, are, aren't they based on a vision, an image, a snapshot in your brain? I believe so. And so, that's what I was thinking about. Some of you are preparing for all the pagan pagan holidays. Don't you have an image in your mind how would you want it to be? How you want to celebrate it? How much you want to spend? And what you would like to give to people and what you would like to receive? See? Images. Vision. Images. Plan. Hence. And the spirit. And so it will be. You hate people you don't even know. In your dark spirit, that's where it starts. Mm-hmm.